it wouldn't be her dare if we didn't have a token unlock it's your boy crypto million back with another one in today's video we'll be doing a brief overview of the hedera utility and ecosystem in the future of hedera hashgraph so if you like videos like this make sure that you like subscribe let me know in the comments what would you pick hedera or cardano i want to know your opinion on hedera if you're bullish or bearish and do you think hedera could possibly flip ethereum in the future let me know in the comments all right so if you haven't noticed or known Hedera here will be going through another token unlock on june 1st okay according to information obtained it's estimated that roughly 1.2 billion of hbar tokens worth 65 million are scheduled to be released the beginning of june 1st this comes after 95 million h bars were released on saturday which brought the total amount of release tokens to 62 percent so in the last three months if you haven't been um following hedera we have been going through these token um releases unlocks and i think personally it's a good thing i want us to get that out the way you can see that we did take a sharp um turn almost almost down there to four cent which is good right now hedera is sitting at five cent which i believe anywhere between three cent and five cent is a pretty good buy zone but every time we get these um token releases or unlocks you know an opportunity is born and you know for me hedera is a long-term hold i feel like hedera is one of those projects that's going to be around for the next seven to ten years so when you look at your blue chip portfolio you want to ask yourself will this project be around for the next seven to ten years i have high conviction on hedera i love the team the utility and of course the partnerships that they've built up over time so nothing to get too excited for again if you are a long-term holder maybe you dca not financial advice but hedera has been working with a lot of different companies lg electronics seeks patenting for tv which lets users trade nfts lg has been a node operator on hedera network since 2020 um, lg running a node on hedera network means that lg is running a computer server that is connected to hedera hashgraph distributed ledger network this node helps validate transactions and maintain integrity of the network this is bullish for hbar the native cryptocurrency of hedera it signifies increased adoption and usage of the network lg's decision to run a node on hedera suggests that they see value in the network and its technology it could potentially lead to further integration of hedera network into lg products and services we know how huge lg is i mean how many people got an lg tv phone etc etc so again we're seeing um hedera here connect the dots with some of the major companies a uh, major tech companies in 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 the industry tech giants should i say in the industry so again this is to me this just um solidifies the fact that hedera is planning on being here uh for the long run you're seeing a lot of these um tech giants show their trust and commitment to the hedera ecosystem um hedera is eco-friendly of course and it's one of the fastest uh main nets transactions on the main net so again it's far more uh, compatible for institutions than the average blockchain. And I just wanted to put that out there because a lot of people sleep on that aspect of Hedera. LG is seeking a patent for a TV that allows users to trade NFTs using blockchain technology. Huge. This further highlights LG's interest in investment in blockchain technology and potential use case. If this TV is eventually released and gains popularity, it could increase awareness and adoption of the blockchain technology and potentially benefit HBAR and other cryptocurrencies. I've seen a few videos of people using the TV and kind of like... um. I, I need to personally do it. So I want to personally uh, use the TV and see how the NFT uh, marketplace is on LG. But I think this is a next step in the direction of massive adoption for cryptocurrency. Just being able to turn on your TV and assess your NFTs is a... I mean, this is huge. This is huge. I think it's one of the most undervalued um, things that's going on in cryptocurrency. And you can take a look at the Hedera Global Governing Council and yourself um, building a future together as you can see some of the biggest companies these are not projects these are companies these are winners these are proven companies that know how to be successful from the Boeing the Dells uh, you got Google LG you know some of the IBM you know I don't know if you guys seen that uh, I believe it's the IBM commercial when they was talking about beer or whatever but uh, bringing it to the blockchain 
a lot of this is a bullish a lot of this adoption is behind is happening behind closed doors so in the midst of these dips you feel me you want to load up on some of these uh, utility tokens i know we can get wrapped up in the hype with meme coins but these are the projects the ones like hadera that's actually building now a utility in real world use case that's going to be here for the long run so i want to double down on that because i know i've been doing a lot of meme coin content um little birds dodge h bar came across this document here um from nasa you can see here family this document here from nasa um and you know they they did name drop hadera hashgraphs you see proposed title hadera hashgraph base distribute ledger for aerospace applications but what does that necessarily mean um phase one project funded by nasa which involves the development of a high performance computing system that utilizes hadera hashgraphs distributed ledger knowledge and this is bullish the proposed HPC system will use Hedera's consensus algorithm to provide a secure and scalable platform for distributed cube computing. The goal is to create a system that can handle large amounts of data and computations while also maintaining security and efficiency. What? We, we already know that's what techno we already know what that's what Hashgraph technology does. OK, secure, fast, low fees. This is significant development for Adara as it highlights the potential use cases of its technology beyond cryptocurrency. This is what we want. We want people to interact with cryptocurrency in these projects without consciously interacting with the crypto aspect of it and this is why hadera will be successful by partnering with nasa to develop a secure and scalable hpc system hadera is demonstrating the versatility uh, versatility of its distributed ledger technology and its potential for use in various industry and fields and we already know that because at the end of the day when we flip back to the governance council here you could see you know this look at all of these use cases right here um one of the biggest use cases for Hadera is tokenization, which is um, the forefront of Arbidin right here. And I, I think, again, this is going to be huge for uh, cryptocurrency. But before I actually get into the tokenization aspect of Arbidin, I want to point out, family, that even with the NFTs, um, I've used, for instance, Crypto.com NFT Marketplace. And I think they're charging like $10, I mean, $3 per NFT. I'm not even going to talk about OpenSea and Ethereum. But purchasing 10 F NFTs in one single s transaction here with Hadera, gas fees is less than a penny. Less than a penny. I mean, institutions want consistency when it comes to fees, gas fees, um, transaction fees. You're not going to get more consistent than Hadera Hashgraph when it comes to fees and speed here. So this is the institutional GOAT. All right. This is the this is the project that this is the number one project that institutions are going to run to to build on you feel me it, it is it just is what it is it's the most consistent it's the most greenest and you know what you're going to get when those guys are doing their books they want to know what they're going to get they don't want to sit there and have to do their books and uh, uh you know uh, they don't want to sit there and have to uh, do their books and uh, record this fee that fee i mean just think about what we have to go through with the meme coins and ethereum fees it's ridiculous you know and and i thought ethereum 2.0 was supposed to fix that which it obviously didn't but Hedera is just sitting here smiling, looking like, just come work with me. And they even got meme coins, family like Grelf. Um, Arbidin, which is an asset manager, uh, they've been hinted at, hinting at tokenization here. Um, these are some of the, the um, things to look forward to in the future as far as tokenization. Real estate. Tokenization can allow investors to buy and sell fractional ownership of property, making it easier to invest in real estate and providing liquidity to the market. So if you can't afford a, a corporate building and you don't have the credit to do this, now we're rolling out you know, tokenization of real estate where a group of investors can put up and invest into this real estate, which I think is a great idea. Art and collectibles, very undervalued um um pov right here because a lot of people sleep on the art industry man you know a lot of wealthy people are in the art industry and i think it's something that's slept on tokenization can allow art collectors and dealers to buy and sell fractional ownership of a piece of art or collectible making it more accessible to a wider range of investors commodities like gold tokenization can enable the fractional ownership and trading of commodities such as precious metals oils and agricultural projects uh products um and again we've seen products like um projects like uh dimitri are getting into the whole agricultural um um field which is another huge field for the blockchain 
uh, uh, stuff like uh, oracles, you know, we'll need that data in cryptocurrency. And a lot of those, you know, those um, those organizations, they don't want to do they don't want to be hands on. OK, so what blockchain allows you or should I say hashgraph technology allows you to do is everything being recorded in a AI manner. So without human error, we'll be able to get things done a lot more quicker. Look at all the people that's integrated chat GPT into their work. And now it's like you're becoming a superhuman because you'll be able to get these things, these things done at a much quicker rate without human error. Intellectual property tokenization can allow the fractional ownership and trading of patents, trademarks, copyrights, even stuff like watches, um, which is going to be huge. I mean, just think about fractionalizing Rolexes. I know that's a huge market. A lot of people like to trade watches. Soon watches will be able to be tokenized. Securities tokenization can enable the fractional ownership and trading of traditional securities like stocks, bonds and funds. And I've seen um, that's been a conversation for a while now tokenizing bonds so a lot to look forward to um as far as utility use case real world world examples here with hadir and um just to remind you guys one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i think it's a what eleven eleven seats left it's eleven seats left you know just imagine it's something like tesla sat at the governing council i can see that realistically happening when you look at google right here you see google highlighted you know what I'm saying? So you just imagine Tesla, you know, sitting here, uh, you know, micro strategy or something. You know, it, it, it's limitless options. I just wanted to give you guys an example of some of the big names out there that could possibly partner with Hedera in the future. So, um, um, you know, taking a look at taking looking at this thing from a long term perspective, let's say Ethereum was able to um somehow compete with Ethereum, which I asked you guys in. The, um, excuse me. Hedera is can somehow compete with Hedera, Ethereum, which I asked you guys earlier in the video. You know, that would be a one hundred and thirty five X. OK, anybody can use one hundred and thirty five X. And I'm talking about parking your money in Hedera long term. This won't happen overnight like meme coins. This is something that is long term. Uh, a lot more efficient than a savings account and Adara would be sitting at about seven dollars and five cents so um to put that into perspective let's say if you bought twenty thousand um Hedera tokens which is valued right now at a thousand dollars and Hedera was able to hit uh ethereum's market cap that a thousand dollars potential worth would be a hundred and forty thousand dollars in the future and even if Hedera just hit one dollar that twenty thousand would be worth one dollar so it's all about the time you have in the game the skin you have in the game you got to really really um assess how much time you got if you're looking at it in the short term maybe you need a hundred thousand hedera tokens because you just banking on this thing getting a one dollar which would be a hundred thousand dollars um let's say you, you you're not thinking about it you like the type of person hey i'm about twenty thousand hedera tokens and shut off my wallet delete the app and i look at it in the next three to five years well, now we're talking about Hedera uh, potentially matching Ethereum's current market cap at about $221 billion, and $1,000 can turn over to 100000 in the next five years. You feel me? That doesn't normally happen in the in, in, in stock market. You feel me? Like It takes a little bit longer to turn $1,000 into $100,000 in the stock market. So, you know, cryptocurrency is here to stay. I just want to kind of double down on these utility tokens to express where we could possibly be in the future. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Hedera um, in the price action. Are we in a buy zone? Do you think Hedera can go lower? I'd love to know you guys' opinions on the utilities in the Hedera. It's your boy, Crypto Millie. I'm out.